it's been a while but i'm back and i'm still going to carry on with the zorn palette um i love this palette i mean i don't know why i haven't tried it before it's like i was kind of afraid of it or i thought it was boring but the more i use yellow reds and blacks the more i like them so um i'm in a painting cats obsession right now <laughs> i'm also in a painting swan's obsession right now so you're probably gonna see a lot of those um but yeah it was quite fun so um about painting what i do is i start by just doing an underpainting like almost watercolor like just to give a tone to the whole page um and i quite enjoy doing that it's also something that i'm trying new because whenever i work with watercolor um, i tend to respect the widest spot so i've never done it before but with wash knowing that i can get lighter values um, even later on gives me that freedom of just playing around with color and doing things that i haven't thought of before which is really really fun um i started to wash a bit more than a year ago and i didn't really know how to use it i didn't really know what to expect from it but the more i use it the more i like it um, i find it it gives me the freedom of making mistakes and being able to correct them so that's quite a lot of fun um, also um, i guess just because on my birthday last year i received this um, palette of wash unique wash with 50 colors and blues almost all the blues got some kind of mold so i had to get rid of them um, i was left with lots of reds and yellows so it kind of forced me to use the zorn palette but i'm actually quite happy with it because i've dis discovered a whole new way of painting that i find quite natural and that i really really like uh, another thing i wanted to talk to you guys about is probably the type of materials that i use right now i'm using a very cheap uh, sketching book it's one of those uh, art creations one that have like 80 pages so that's going to be like 160 drawings it's quite a big sketchbook the paper is not too good of a quality but it takes gouache quite well at least the cheap gouache that i'm using so i'm quite happy with that too i'll talk more in detail about that in a future video meanwhile this is pretty much what i've painted just a cute cat um using just reds yellows and blacks and white of course and i'm quite happy with it i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you in the next video Bye.